I'm trying to say on my diet, I think diets all tell you pretty much the same things, don't they? They say you have to learn to eat sensibly. You know, like slim fast. They say have a shake for breakfast and lunch, then a sensible dinner. Have you seen the size of the sensible dinner? I need more food than that stuck in my teeth. I mean, you know how small it looks, because they tell you to do things like put your food on a smaller plate so it looks bigger. Does this really work? I don't know, I think I'd rather eat what I want and hang around with fatter people. not gonna work because you're not gonna feel full no matter what size plate it's on. I don't think you can fake yourself out, you know? Geez, I wonder why my stomach's growling after that huge meal I had. <laughs> that saucer was just heap with celery. <laughs> Another thing they tell you is portion size is the key to a diet. You heard that when they say the way you tell the right size serving is it's roughly the size of your clenched fist. My fist is usually clenched around a bucket of fried chicken. <laughs> Do you wonder why we pick certain animals to use for food as opposed to other ones? I think we just pick the ones that are easiest to catch. I mean, a cow? Hey, tip them over, he's yours. A turkey? There's a challenge. A bird that can't fly. You don't see a lot of lion or cheetah meat in the store, you know? They're too fast and too dangerous. We like defenseless animals that can't fight back, like boneless chickens. Pigs on a blanket. Food's so expensive. You know, my wife shops at all these price club places now, like BJ's. Costco's, you go to these things, they sell everything in there, but you don't save money. I go in there for milk, I come out with an overcoat and a set of radial tires. How does that happen? I save more money when I got a Fox with than I do when I got a BJ's. And you have to buy so much of everything. I have 50 32 ounce bottles of A1 sauce at home. I can't afford any meat to put it on. The worst part is I'll spend three hours in BJ's. As soon as I get home, the first thing my wife says is, I have to go to the store to get something for supper. <laughs> I've got news for you. All our grocery money's tied up in that 80-gallon jug of Drano we bought this afternoon. <laughs> I think they have enough security in these places. One of them, Costco's, I think it is. They have a security guard in there now when you go in. You're supposed to show this guy an ID badge with a picture on it. I thought the cavity search was completely unnecessary. <laughs> I think we're going to shoplift in this place. How does that work? All right, honey, remember, once we're inside, I'll distract the sentries while you stick that case of tang under your blouse. 